If I was traveling on a journey, these are some of the things that I would consider to take on a trip. I'd usually take some toys that he mightn't have seen before that might be totally new to him. I might have swapped with a friend. So I have a grab bag that I swap with a friend for journeys. They're toys that her children haven't seen or my son hasn't seen. And they'll include things like books, colouring in pencils, activities, some toys that make a sound, some cards to play snap with. There might be a favoured bedtime book which helps with um, a child going off to sleep. Small toys with wheels that can be played with on airport floors. Um, and de dependent on the age of the child, obviously books that they can draw, read, be self-entertained for a period of time or just as, as a diversional activity. Most airlines provide quite detailed um, children's programs now on their audio visual, so I tend not to take electronic equipment if I don't need to, um, just the weight and the extra battery charging and, and the risk of losing it. I take things that are easily, easily carried, not too heavy, um, and in that bag I'll often pop sweets or little treats that might be things that Hamish enjoys or um, my friend will take the same things if, if her child enjoys those. And the small snacks that might be not too spicy or a little bit sweet and it's a bit of a treat to find in the bottom of the bag. Um, I also include hand wipes, hand wash and um, any medications that I, I may have trouble obtaining in my destination. There's many ways to keep the family and children healthy during the flight and that's to consider initially really the airline you're travelling on, perhaps the dietary requirements and what they provide. Um, it may involve taking um, lunch, small packed lunch of things that you know your children will eat. They may not eat the food that's on the aircraft. You just need to consider that you put a very small ice pack that doesn't exceed the 100 mil fluid amount. I always make sure that there's a water bottle filled up on the aircraft. I seek um, regular meals, I make sure their hands are washed, they're kept clean, so touching public surf surfaces, using hand wipes to keep hands or um, hand gel to keep hands clean. Um, throughout the journey, I actually consider the length of the journey. Everybody needs to have a sleep and if it's quite a long, long journey, of course they'll be affected by the stresses of flight, they'll need to sleep. So I try to arrange or to settle my child in accordance with the sleep zone of where I'm travelling to, so they're not too affected by the jet lag at the end destination.